Hey Taurus! So you can watch this if you're Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, really any sign, even if it's like your North Node, whatever. If you resonate with it, then watch it. It will have messages for you. So basically I'm tuning into Taurus energy right now and the key word that's coming up for me is partnership. So partnership can mean various things. It can mean partnership with ourself, so what our relationship with ourself is like. It can mean partnership with other, so relationship, friendship, romantic, family, whatever. Or it can mean our relationship or our partnership with the divine, with spirit, with God, with whatever you conceptualize it as. So those three aspects of relationship, so self, other and divine, your relationship or your partnership with those things this month is very, very highlighted. And there are going to be a lot of lessons that um, are offered to you if you would like to take them on. So basically what I mean by partnership is also like how you balance partnership. So how much are you giving versus how much are you expecting or taking, you know, that sort of stuff. So um, really balancing that out and making sure that, you know, you're not taking advantage of people and you're not letting people take advantage of you. And, you know, this is a lifelong journey or lesson or whatever. And, and it's not something that is simple or straightforward, but it's just a theme that is really highlighted for you this month that I'm intuitively channeling. OK, so, yeah, it can mean really good stuff as well, like <laughs> for sure. Um, and it can mean you feel really extra supported this month and that you feel, you know, really in touch with your relationships and even in touch with yourself and your own needs. And when, when we're nourishing ourselves and we're nourishing our own needs, you know, like we're, we're also nourishing our ability to give to others. So it's, it's all one thing, really. All right. So basically the way we're going to do this reading is we'll do two cards for your general energy and then two cards for the first, second, third and fourth week. And then we'll probably finish, yeah, we will finish with an oracle card just around what, what needs to be focused on, you know? So, it's gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, the lovers just fell out. I was actually planning on doing it like this, but whatever, <laughs> they obviously wanted to come out. So this is your general energy. This is week one, week two, week three, week four. All right, so let's get going. Wow, wow. Okay, so your week, your general energy, sorry, is very much around shining light onto relationships, shining light onto love, uh, becoming very authentic in our love, becoming authentic in our relationships with ourselves and with others, learning about balance, yeah, because the lovers is Gemini, so it's like the two sides of things. So I think that this month is really going, you're going to be learning lessons around seeing things from other people's perspective and feeling seen in your perspective. So both ways. It's going to be a very balanced month in relationship. Like anything that you learn, um, you know, the other person will learn. It's, it's going to be very like that. So, or even if it's like, in a friendship, you know, one theme will come up for you and that theme will come up for your friend as well. Like it's going to be very, you're both going to like, you're going to be working through things in relationship this month, basically, is what I'm trying to say. In the relational space is where you need to stay. You may feel like you want to retreat at times into solitude, into old ways of coping. And that's fine. Just observe that without judgment and love yourself. Um, but it might get intense at times because this sun is really putting a lot of light into that space. And, you know, I think this is a theme that's been with you since the start of the year. I just think that this month is sort of like a culmination energy from that. So it's going to be very, very, very emphasized. So the sun also talks about truth. Um, maybe even seeing through illusion. So that might also be a general theme for you December 2019 in terms of seeing the truth in relationship that maybe you hadn't um, been aware of before or just having it very, very clear, you know, <laughs> just incredibly clear things that were once unclear. There's also, um, 
yeah, there's an energy of like you getting honest with yourself as well around your relationship with yourself and realizing there are certain things that you need to do for yourself to meet your needs. And I think you're going to have that really clarifi clarified for you this month and you're going to really be able to take action. So if you felt like this year your will was at times paralyzed, you didn't feel like you could take action even if you know you were ruminating a lot about certain things, that is really going like you're really going to be propelled forwards in that area and really feel like you can take action that's very aligned with your truth and the other message that's coming through is that in your relationships whether it's friendship family or like a lover there's going to be a deepening of your connection with like your soul's purpose and you're going to realize that um it may be every kind of relationship, like I was saying, it could be your relationship with yourself, with the divine, with family, with friends, with lover, whatever. It's going to really, something's going to click for you this month and you're going to really see it in a very new light and in a positive light, at least for one of those arenas. Seeing like, wow, these people really support me or, you know, this person is like my life partner like something's going to really deepen for you and it's going to feel connected in with your life like purpose with your purpose for being you're going to feel in touch with that and it's going to be through like I said or within the relational space so one message from spirit or one guiding um thought from spirit is you know really challenge yourself to stay in the relational space this month even if at times you know you feel like you want to retreat of course do that but just be aware that your lessons this month are in that space. They're not alone. They're not in solitude. Sometimes our lessons are in solitude, right? Not this month for you, Taurus. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's now tune into week by week, the energies week one. Okay. So you're going to be getting vocal about, yeah, where people haven't been meeting your needs in week one. All right, so you're going to feel really confident because of this truth, you know, that you're feeling revealed. You're going to really feel confident to say no. There's going to be someone you need to say no to this in the second, in the first week. I'm really sorry if I kept saying the second week. There's going to be themes of scarcity that are coming up for you that feel scary. So scarcity is not feeling like there's enough, whether that's money, food, love, sex, whatever. But you're going to be able to really see aspects of that in your psyche. You know, you're going to be able to really like feel like, OK, that is just my mind running away with me. What can I like? What do I actually need to do in this 3D realm to feel like there is more available to me? And I think that that is going to be around you asserting your needs in a certain relationship, even if it's with your family just putting up a boundary, saying no, having to put your own needs first and really like sit with that, sit with what that feels like, being assertive. Maybe you haven't felt like you could be assertive in the past with certain members of your family. For some reason, I keep channeling family for this week one. So there's going to be themes with family coming up. Yes. Spirit's also saying that um, really attempt to stay with yourself this in this first week because there are going to be themes coming up that want to that where you want to abandon yourself so you know what I was saying about staying in the relational space in in December this includes in your in your relationship to yourself so how can questions to ask will be how can I stay with myself even when, you know, I've had to put up a boundary with someone and now they're mad at me, right? How can I not betray myself when I'm sitting in this discomfort or sitting in the discomfort of someone thinking that I'm cold or that I'm a bitch or something like that and really having to just own our need? Okay, well, they might think that, but this is what I needed to do for myself. And therefore, you know, that's what's true and that's what's right. So there's going to be a little bit of trickiness there around those kinds of themes and it's going to look different for everyone it's definitely nothing to be afraid of like i said these are all themes that are really serving your life lessons <laughs> they're really big themes but 
Overall, keep in mind, December is all about love and honesty and partnership. Okay, week two, the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so week two, things are going to start getting overwhelming in your headspace. It's important that you speak to others about things that are going on for you and that you don't let ideas fester in your mind unspoken. Because the Eight of Swords talks about how we can create a prison for ourselves within our own mind, within our own thoughts. You know, with our thoughts, we create a, a self <laughs> prison, right? And it's really coming from you not feeling like you can share the burden. You're not feeling like you can share the weight of the world. You're taking everything on your shoulders and then you're kind of like telling yourself that no one can help you. And that's not true because people are here to help. People love you. People want to help you. And all it takes is you speaking out. I think that the reason this energy is coming up for you so intensely in week two is because you're practicing that in week one and there's always a rebound effect, right? There's always this rebound that when we push through an old energy that we're trying to outgrow and we embody a new energy, there is almost always this rebound effect where we are catapulted back into the old energy and we have to keep playing that out because we're like we're working through it at such a deep level right so i see this as really being connected <sighs> again spirit is saying stay with yourself just stay with yourself and your relationship with yourself so i think that there's going to be you're really going to have to challenge um Ideas around having to do everything alone in week two because you don't have to do it alone and that's a thought pattern that isn't serving you. So the more that you can express yourself and express your vulnerability week two, the more supported you will feel. Okay, week three, the hanged man and the page of swords. All right, so you have <laughs> just initiated for yourself an incredible spiritual lesson that you are now integrating in week three. So Taurus, like congratulate yourself because you are really facing things in December. I think you, I mean, I feel that you have been all year. However, just really be kind with yourself December because these are big energies you're working through and the hanged man tells me that these are spiritual lessons. So these are not things to be rushed. These are not simple things that have a, you know, one side and then another. These are very complicated situations that really require us to surrender judgment and to really do soul searching. So week three, it's going to be this real soul searching energy for you where you're going inwards. You might need to take a break from um, being social, who knows, but there's this just real sense of like you're you deepening your connection to yourself, to divine, to your purpose and really living in integrated with your soul's call. Because there's going to be this real push coming through you or this, yeah, this energy coming through you of wanting to express yourself again, <laughs> wanting to get your ideas out into the world, really, really, really push, pushing through this heaviness and really like transcending it is what I'm seeing. So week three, you're going to have a lot of um, ideas. You're going to kind of need to pause with them. And then let's see what comes week four. Yes, a new beginning. Yes, Taurus, you did it. Yay, I'm so proud of you because look what you've been through. Like, oh, I'm just so glad. This is so good because you're really, 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 really having a new beginning because you're really, really, really engaged with this stuff, right? Engaged with this energy. <sighs> week four. You're going to have your ideas. You're going to be able to bring your ideas out into the world. There's going to be a new beginning in terms of a new year coming for you. And I think you're going to feel really inspired by that, really energized by the prospects of 2020 and what it offers you and how much you've learned in 2019, especially around partnerships and relationships. So, wow, like this King of Wands is just telling me how stable you're going to be in your creative process, how grounded you're going to feel in terms of getting your ideas out into the world. Seriously, um, the fool offers you so much potential. It's the potential of the unknown, the unknowable. You can create whatever you like from this energy, right? So you can really mold it however you would like. And I see you really stepping into the creator of your own destiny, like the sculptor of your own life. And it's very beautiful energy. So, wow, Taurus. <laughs> All right, let's, 
let's just conclude your reading with an oracle card around what, like a key thing to be focusing on. Oh, oh dear, fell on the ground. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you just saw my head then. All right, the arts. This is your like core um, focus for December, the arts. So it says express yourself through creative activities. Yes, and I really see that's what this is all about. You know, you're going through this real um, learning. You're really integrating that learning and able to bring that through in your art, whatever that means to you, okay? So it's really, really positive. Keep, keep expressing yourself, whether that's speaking to people and sharing your feelings and your thoughts or whether that's just through your art form, through exercise, whatever it is for you. Just really let that ground you this month, okay? All right, thank you, Taurus. I really hope you, I don't know, enjoyed that reading. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do like 20, 20 year ahead series like this for each sign. So stay tuned and thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right, bye.